He was like an octopus. It was like he had six arms. He was all over the place. He was like an octopus. What is up, my Muslim sisters? Today we will be talking about something very near and dear to my heart. Some, some, uh, some, uh, uh, some grope accusations. Some, somebody was groping somebody. So for something so serious, for something so, so hefty, so, so deep, we, we need a little... We need a little protection today. Just a little something to keep your girl from getting pregnant. Not much. Just a just a little something. Just so today we're going to be talking about how uh, this woman whose name I don't care enough about to remember talked about how Donald Trump uh, gave her a, a a good a good groping. You know, and we're not going to talk about or laugh about the fact that she was groped when she didn't ask to be. You know, because. That's a subject that's that's just a little too deep here. But I, I will touch on it. I will touch on it slightly. If I ask you to grope me, I'm expecting to be groped, okay? You know, if 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 I never say those words, don't do it. But if I say, hey buddy, please, please, give me give me a good groping. I, I expect a good groping, I expect a good uh a good, you know, feely touchy going on. If I ask for it, if I don't ask for it, don't touch me, man. Maybe you can ask me, hey, can I can I give you a good groping today? It, it's a, it's just the type of day. Maybe then I'll think about it, but don't start until I say yes. If I say yes to the to the good groping, then you can proceed to give me a good groping, okay? But if I don't say I want it, don't give it. it and it's really just that simple. When all of a sudden his hands were all over me. He started encroaching on my space. And I hesitate to use this expression, but I'm going to. And that is, he was like an octopus. It was like he had six arms. He was all over the place. And if he had stuck with the upper part of the body, I, I might not have gotten, I might not have gotten that upset. But it's when he started putting his hand up my skirt, and that was it. That was it. I was out of there. She called my man an octopus. It was like an octopus. His hands were everywhere. And then the fact that she said that he had six arms. Something about that doesn't doesn't quite correlate to me. This word octopus and, and this description of having six arms. Something's not quite, something's not, something's not clicking here. So I'll tell you who does have six arms. And I did a little more research and I found out that there was somebody else on the plane who actually did have six arms. I did some research, I did some studying, and I found out that on that day, when this woman and Donald Trump were sitting together on this plane, there was somebody there who had six legs, who was also with them, six-armed man. Who was it? I fact, I had the DNA test is in. He is the father. The test is in. Donald Trump did not commit this act. Donald Trump did not have anything to do with this act. She was not even sitting next to Donald Trump. Who she was sitting next to was Squidward Pinnacles. The capabilities of using his six arms and getting all up in there. But in seriousness, the thing that I find extremely interesting is the fact that what she says is that she wouldn't have had a problem with it if he stayed in the upper body region, but when he got down low is when this woman got a little bit upset. And what she says next is that she was out of there. Here's my question. You see her hesitating as she's speaking. I feel as though she's lying, but here's the biggest question. Out of there where? You are on an airplane. She couldn't have jumped off the plane. Where did she go? Where did she go? She didn't go anywhere. I'll tell you why. She knew that if she was groped by Donald Trump, AKA Squidward Tentacles, she could move up the ladder if she had some form of a connection with this guy, Squidward Tentacles. And here's what I'm talking about. She is the voice actress for Sandy Cheeks. I've done the math, I've done the research, I've done the blood test, I've done the, the baby test. She is the father. She is the father. Uh, look at the way she's hesitating as she's speaking and she's talking about how uh, she left. Where could she have gone? I mean, she could have moved around. She could have found another seat. 
But something about this isn't sounding right to me, and I honestly think that she just sat there and let it happen. And that's that's what I feel like. But even if she did, that doesn't mean that uh, Donald was right for doing it. You know, at all, actually. That's that's just not right at all. And just to let everybody know, because I've made a few videos and I've had a few people freak out on me for no reason. I don't think that this is okay. I do not at all condone flipping, groping. I condone groping. It's just I don't condone uh, non-consensual uh, groping. You need consent before you can g give give a give a good groping. This has been uh, Captain Sexy Man One Two Three on the One Two Threes, and uh, I just want to let everybody know uh, Donald Trump is Squidward Tentacles. Donald Trump is a, a six-armed, uh, groping, uh, cartoon squid octopus from the Bikini Bottom. He does work at the Krusty Krab, yet he is also a millionaire. He's living this double life. He is Hannah Montana. He is Miley Cyrus. There's no way to dispute it. I've done the blood test. I've done the, I've done the research. They were on the plane. I am the father. I am the father.